Well, hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Hope you're well. Today we're testing some more fun kitchen gadgets. Uh, I'm looking forward to these today. This is part of a much bigger playlist, so if you've missed any of the other kitchen gadget videos, videos uh, check out the link at the top of this video and down below at the end. Grab the popcorn, because it'll go on for ages, and there are some really fun gadgets so far. Before we get started, the one point like I like to make uh, quite regularly in these videos is please consider before commenting uh, that some of these gadgets might be useful for disabled people, okay? Uh, so uh, let's let's get going all right so the queen if you're wondering is there to help me focus my camera i still get tons of comments about that even though i've told you in the past this my friends is a rainbow uh cupcake that my lovely wife mrs barry do you want to come up say hello um hello this is my wife what um, are you going to do to my cupcake well this gadget i've had this for ages right this is a cupcake cora right uh, so i'm just gonna abuse your cupcake a minute oh. i'm just gonna get rid of that lovely frosting <laughs> So if you want to know how to make these, there's a link in the description uh, as well. Uh, they are amazing and really simple to make. And you actually did two different ways, didn't you, Shana? I did, yes. Um, but I've been meaning to show this gadget for ages because I do want me or actually Becky, who does the baking on the channel, to focus on this. But what you do, obviously you get a freshly baked cupcake without frosting it. I was going to say, this better be worth it. This better be a good gadget. <laughs> and I love how the queen is just sort of still my... keeping her eye on you, like, hmm, is, mm. do we trust him and uh, this cupcake? <laughs> right, so it's got like, this cupcake core has got more of like a jaggedy edge thing. And what we do is take it from the side here, push it in and kind of like rotate it. Oh, actually, I think this plug needs to be in there too, right? So we just rotate it through. So then that sits flush with the top of the cupcake like that. Actually, that's quite a cool cupcake holder. Isn't it? You could just walk around with a cupcake. <laughs> well, just to eat the cupcake like that. Yeah. But anyhow, what you're supposed to do now with that is you just pull uh, like that. Ah. And you've got a little bit of cupcake. Ah, oh, see? And I you've know. cored. Let's see. You see, you've cored your cake oh, cool. and you've sort of pressed it down if it's a little bit jaggy, but look. Oh, so then you can amazing. fill that with like Nutella, buttercream, so some of your frosting as well. And then you can frost your cake. And you go, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Eat that bit as well, don't get rid of that. I need to tell you about this next gadget, okay? I'm not sure if it's going to work. This is um, Naomi, okay? Which is actually one name that I would have considered calling um, Amy, our pug. Still kind of works though, Naomi, Amy. But this thing uh, helps get the shell off of nuts. And unfortunately, I needed walnuts. Am I even selling that right? Selling? Saying that right? I'm not selling anything. Well, I'm selling products for other people. Amazing. Uh, walnuts with a shell on it. Wool. Wool walnuts, yes. Uh, so apparently you stick it in Naomi and she gets the shell off. But I did manage to get um, some monkey nuts. I have a backup if this didn't work. I need no excuse to buy some Ken and Jenny's ice cream. So my backup is this heated um, ice cream scoop. So if this doesn't work, we'll use this. If not, I'll do it on the next gadget video. Okay. Look at that. Naomi is keen and ready, wagging her tail. Uh, we've got the monkey nuts uh, right here. And I think these are gonna work. It's got quite a nice shell on it, kind of like the walnuts anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, let's just get rid of this. Oh yes. Is that just like a stand for it? Okay, yeah, I think that's where you would put the nut. So we are gonna stick our nut in there, but I'm feeling like I might need a board. All right, board down, plate thing down. Let's get this nut. Oh, let's get one that fits. This one's gonna fit quite snugly in there. Sit Naomi on top. And as you can see in here, as you push, there's like this sort of more weighty dumbbelly thing right there that's gonna uh, our nut. Sit that down. When you press down on the bolt, the spiral spring closes around the nutshell, preventing shell fragments from being scattered. All right, here we go. Yes! Oh, wow. Okay, that has um, kind of worked. Yes, we've got our nut out. It is a nut, but with a walnut, because that shell is a bit firmer, a bit bigger, I think that would work slightly better, but hmm, I'm nuts about that. I'm gonna keep that out of the video. I might just leave this on the countertop there because it's quite soothing to look at. I'm, I'm enjoying that. It's like a fat man doing squats up and down. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get fit, look at me, oh yeah. Uh. I feel like if I let it stop, the world might stop now. So I'm gonna maybe put it to one side and let it do its thing. Excited about this one. I've got quite a few different variations of this in my ever-growing box of food gadgets. This is the ever-growing box of food gadgets. Every time I do a gadget video, twice as many arrive. Oh, if you're wondering, Mrs. Barry is actually doing a little bit of a vlog. Actually, this video is going to go up on the Sunday, the same day as this. We've done a vlog of our whole week on our Behind the Scenes yeah. channel, so uh, maybe check that out. Links in the description too. All right. <laughs> did you get that as well? I did, I got it all. This is like 
two YouTube videos in one. So this is the Quick Push Food uh, Chopper. So basically you just slam it down and it should chop instantly. It's got uh, three different images here. One to slice, so it's uh, slatted, uh, diced in very small squares and chop in slightly larger squares. I've got some vegetables here. See what I've done there? Uh, half an onion, sliced like that, some uh, yellow peppers and some mushrooms. I don't know why I'm putting this on my head, but let's see if this works. Check that out. That looks like very futuristic. Loving the, uh, the, the green flap thing. Kind of looks a bit like a crocodile, maybe. Uh, let's just lift that up. Oh yeah. And we can see we've got that plate in there, that grid. And the other replacement ones are in the bottom. I'm gonna give it a little wash because it smells very plasticky. So we've given it a good clean and these are like the little slots uh, we put in there. You can see there's quite a big difference between there. We've got rows there for strips, really fine squares. And I think we will go with a slightly uh, butcher one like that. So you can see it's got some uh, little slots there. I've got, that's black from uh, slicing red onion, by the way. I haven't been like digging in my garden. Uh, there we go. Boom. Press that right in there. That's kind of locked in place. It also came with this cleaning brush thing if you're interested. I guess that's to just get veg out. So lift up the crocodile's mouth and this fits securely in there uh, like so. So uh, I'm just trying to think what's the best angle about there. I'm happy with that. Cool. Uh, let's start with an onion. We sit it on the square like so. You can see it's got like a little ridgy thing on the top there that's going to hopefully help push it down. And I'm just going to put some pressure on it. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Check that out. I'm actually astonished. Mrs. Barry. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to be using that gadget. That's amazing. That's awesome. Um, okay. So wow. the onion has passed the test. Would you like to have a go with a pepper? Oh, okay. Yes, please. Okay. This is a, a pepper mm. slice been de-seeded, all right? So it's just a strip. Um, kind of like the, the, the cheek. I was going to say the buttock of a pepper, but one of the cheeks. Oh, the Chloe's here. Do you want to have a go? Can I have a go with the mushroom? Yeah, you can do the yeah. mushroom. Right. Mummy, you do the uh, pepper. Push that. <laughs> a bit harder than, a bit that. Harder than that. Oh uh, wow! Look at that! That's amazing! It looks like salad! It looks like salad, it does. yeah. Alright, let's get you a little step. She needs a little step because she's the size of an umpa lumpa. Excuse the chocolate round her face, she's just eating a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I All right. keep the chicken. Stick messy. your mushroom in there. Alright, go for it, mate. Whoa, 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 that's it. Go. Oh wow! Are you happy with that, Chloe? Yeah! <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> Alright, so that. Is an awesome little guy. Actually, let's open it up. Let's let's get this out. See that? And don't forget, folks. You can also do it with like a little gritty thing. Oh look! Oh, you've got a mask on. It looks like a that looks like a cage. A cage? It does. You're in a cage. You're a wrestler in a cage match. Oh, <laughs> weighing ten pounds. It looks like Chloe, <clears throat> and that looks like a grill for like a fan or something. That so. looks like a bridge. Actually, let's try that. Let's quickly do another one. Remember, yeah, this is very sharp, folks. Don't let your children use it. Right, yeah, down you go. Big, big push. Wow. wow! I've got about three or four different variations of this okay. in that box down there. All different styles and stuff, so we'll Hang work way through it. But things. super. Oh, you want to do more? Oh, this is our one. Doesn't want to go, that one. Right, watch out, let me push. There we go. Hey. Now mushrooms. Oh, no, actually, that one hasn't worked because we didn't get the pepper fully over it. Um, we kind of ah. missed it. Right, do your mushroom then, mate. Yes. yes. There we go. It's a little bit caught on there. Get your tool to oh, brush wow, it in. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm not even getting paid to do this. These brands haven't even got in touch. Although well, other brands are getting in touch. But um, <laughs> like none of this is sponsored, by the way. Look at that. Like so you got like, for your mushroom, yeah, like a waffle. with that strippy one, you've got like a perfect slice now. <laughs> and do you know what? Without even knowing it, you've just helped prepare dinner tonight. <laughs> Thank you. I am really excited about this next gadget. It's one of the first ones that's arrived. I've had it for ages. It's a stuffed burger thing. Over there in the pan right now, I've got some of those onions and peppers and mushrooms you just sliced up with a teeny bit of bacon. It's cooking up for our burger filling. All right, so just pushing uh, that bacon, chunky mushroom, onion, uh, pepper mixture right there. We have got some beef mince here, but this is the Stuff's E-Fast Make Stuff Burgers Like a Pro. Uh, and I love that idea. They've got some awesome ideas on the back, like mac and cheese one, uh, mushroom Swiss, jalapeno, all that stuff. So you basically shape it, stuff it, and then, does that say eat it? Seal it, yeah, remember to cook it. There it is. It looks like one of those things where you, you know you play air hockey. Pull latch lightly until the top releases. Alrighty, okay. Actually, I need to wash this. And now I can't put the thing back together. Brilliant. 
Place ball of meat into stuffs, close to lock. Okay, all right, so in that goes. I hope that's a big enough ball or maybe too big. Right, close to lock. Push handle down firmly to flatten the ball. Pull up handle until it clicks, all right? Pushing that down. Oh yeah, proper getting some squeeze on that. Maybe I'm like pulverizing it. Pull up handle until it clicks. Uh, I think that clicked. Uh, yes. I think I need more, let's try that again. That's a big ball now, uh, so let's push that down. It's doing the opposite, it's creating that bit in the middle right now is higher than that. I'm gonna be back, we will do this. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did differently there, I just tried it again. And we have got a little bit of a crevice there. It's not that deep, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make it a little deeper. I'm gonna manually, yeah, do stuff with it. Fill cavity with your toppings. Okay, so this, is the bacon, the onions, the peppers and mushrooms, and I've also got some cheese. So we're gonna cram this in. This is really finely grated cheese, which should hopefully melt a lot better. Close and lock, press handle down firmly to seal top to bottom. Yeah, so that bit does need to be gone now. So I guess by doing that, ah yeah, okay. So this bit must seal around the edge there. Open it and press the disc up from the bottom, ejecting, I'm loving that word, ejecting your burger. Right, okay, <laughs> it looks more like a pie. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of loving. I'm gonna help shape it. I'm gonna work with this, I feel like I'm caressing a brain. I'm just trying to remedy the sides because there is some cheese trying to escape there. Just really wanna seal that up. I think that's the best I'm gonna get it. To be fair, the instructions were pretty clear, but this felt a little naff. But anyhow, let's see if it works. Oh no, it's starting to fall out. Right, that other one clearly isn't working, so I'm just gonna do one with a load of cheese in it. I've just rolled this one in some breadcrumbs to try and help it, but I'm really not confident, to be honest. All right, I've just whacked that in the oven because I wanna make it cook through, but fingers crossed, so far it is looking okay. Randomly, some more kitchen gadgets have just arrived from Columbia, um, Ian Webb, and he sent me this. I haven't opened it that much yet, but from the outside, it looks like this gadget again. There we go then folks, straight from the oven. Get that hot tray out of the way a minute. And hopefully this should be a stuffed burger. Okay, oh yes, look at that. Oh, the cheese bulging out. A bit more cheese action there. Oh, oh. We made it work, but it did need breadcrumbs to hold the mince together. I'm gutted the first one didn't work because of that variety of filling, but the cheese worked a charm, stonking. Well, that was a little bit intense. This one I am super excited about, but I don't really, I don't, that sounded Scottish. I don't really know where it comes from. Uh, Tomatera Tommy, which sounds like a cartoon character, really. For me, the picture on this sums it up. Look, you've got this huge, like, tomato-y funnel thing. You shove your tomatoes in and you get, uh, can you see how pure that looks? There is, I, if it looks like that, I'm going to be amazed. It should look quite chunky, but it's kind of like a way of grinding up tomatoes. All right, so that's obviously the bottom bit. That is a suction plate. God, that is not moving. Hello! Uh, so this, I'll slide on this way. <laughs> and have to move your back a minute. It's gotta be said, this is an impressive bit of kit already, but let's clamp it down. My handle, okay, it's got a thread on it. Yes. That turns that thing in there. You see that? So does that need to be wind? Does that need to wind that? Oh yes, it does. Look, it's going to pulverize it by rotating that. Can you see these lips on it? Oh, there we go. Dogs are proper freaking out down there. Right now, that ain't moving. Mrs. Barry just dropped Chloe at school. Come look at this. Hello. <laughs> Check this out. This is so weird. So this is going to push our tomatoes in. What is this? That's this like, looks like some sort of, I don't know, like... Oh, you know, what? I just clamped it down. Oh. No, honestly, I just clamped it down oh, and it's so hard to... Like, like that. Honestly, try and move that. Try and move that. Oh, yeah. You just let like, come along and knocked it over. Right, so that's on there. So what the, what is this bit for then? Is that like some sort of secret escape fun slide for the tomatoes to be like, wee? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to be grinded up or do you want to go for a laugh? All right, so this goes there. This. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are going in. All right. Are you so, sure it's 
safe to do more than one at a time? Well, yeah, the, the diagram had like a billion. It was like Tomato Fest. It was like that Tomatina Spanish festival thing. It's not going to be like tomatoes flying everywhere. Like I hope so. Works. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's not. Nothing's it's not. happening. Am I moving it the right way? Yeah. Go on, press down. I'm just bursting I'm the tomato. It's going to go. I think I'm going to do one at a time though. Keep winding then. Oh yeah, look, it's coming out. Oh, not the queen over. Not the queen down. Right. Okay. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> so all the flesh is there like that, and it is actually making tomato juice. Yes, it is. I'm trying to work out where the... Right there. So we've got a bit in there, but this has got jam, does it? I, I can't see. I need to stand on the stool. Oh yeah, but then we're getting all that stuff in there that we don't want yeah. in there. I think this was clogging it up. Let's try again. Try again. No. <laughs> ah, that's the problem. Yeah, but the problem is what it's supposed to do. We've got like... Taking this out, okay. Oh no. The handle's sheared off, that's why. Oh, uh, look at that. Whoops. The handle's sheared off it. What is it? That's a breaking gadget. Look. <laughs> that's not very. That's awful. That's not very well made. Oh, oh you hate, don't like tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking forward to this one. This is our last gadget today for a very long time. It's called a pea pie and there's loads of different versions of it. And as you can see, this one is based on Michael Jackson. It's not, it's Elvis, but there's loads of different versions of these you can get. The only problem is it, the instructions are completely in German. Um, incidentally, I'm going to Germany in Berlin on the 26th to the 28th. So if you're there, come say hi, wherever that is. Just say hi in Berlin, just shout and I'll appear. I don't have any Elvis glasses, so we're just gonna have to go with this. Now, there is a diagram on the bottom where it's got putting the eggs in the pan, then sitting Elvis in alongside it, and then it should start to sing. And then there's a nice little picture of a chicken eating an egg, which is just a little bit bizarre because it's possibly eating something that came out of its own bum. And a slightly more detailed diagram. And all it does, it does actually say, uh, Melody, Viva Las Vegas, Garantiert Voschte Ver Niebe. Dust, and then it's got a hound dog and jailhouse rock. Three different melodies. Yeah, eggs in, when it simmers it will sing. And then it's got a picture of a chicken with a tap for its nose. Can you see that? So we're just gonna stick this in the water uh, with three eggs actually. So hopefully we can try and get all the different tunes. And um, bleh, Viva Las Agnes. Viva Las Agnes. This water is stone cold at the moment. There's no heat on this hob. Our three eggs are going in there. An excellent Elvis is going in there too. Um, right, we're just gonna bring it up to a simmer and see what happens. Uh huh. I've just had a thought. I genuinely don't know if that needed batteries. On the pack, it had no diagram for batteries, so hopefully it'll be all right. The water is starting to get little bubbles, but nothing to report at the moment. And there's the chicken with the tap on his nose. Amazing. Just replying to some emails. I beeped. No, 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 no. That is not gonna be Elvis. One single beep. Maybe it's for like copyright. Beep. Oh, that was Elvis. Hello darkness, my old friend. I'm starting to see some bubbling action. It's starting to bubble more than bubbles the monkey. This is currently my life, folks. Waiting for Elvis to sing to these eggs. This has been going for just over eight minutes now. So I think my hard drive is really gonna love Elvis. Gonna get a plunge pool ready, actually. So rather, whoa, <laughs> there's a pub on the floor. Look, look what we're doing. It's Elvis. Elvis is alive. Um, so rather than using a tap with a chicken with a tap on his nose, we're going to use a bowl full of cold water. <laughs> Elvis is just like treading water in there, just bobbing around. We're close to boiling point now. No, no, that's not Elvis. Beep, beep. Elvis didn't do hit record called beep, beep, or just two tone, beep, beep. We're going to keep going. Unless it gets too dangerous, then we're going to stop. Just turning that heat down, it's getting a little, uh... There. Oh, that was Viva Las Vegas! Did da 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 Amazing! Let's get an egg out. Now, Hound Dog is apparently the next one on the egg I've... 
One more time. <laughs> I don't know if Elvis has left the building, but we will just, just see if he gives us one more song. He's really trying to push the sales of Viva Las Vegas. Anyhow, uh, while that is going, I've just, uh, actually that looks... Let's get my catalogue. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Yes. Again. Uh, crying all the time. Crying all the time. So it does it three times for every song. I've run out of uh, egg cups, so we're using a shot glass. I'm gonna have vodka in that. Uh, for Jail House Rock, which is the final one in our Elvis set. One to the party in the county jail. No, 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 no. That's, that's the El Jail House Rock, yeah. Let's rock. In the party, let's rock. Crying all the time. That's Hound Dog still. Four times. My glasses are getting steamed up and I haven't even got any uh, things in them. Yes, the Jailhouse Rock. I was kind of hoping that might be another bit of the song that I might know. I thought I knew Elvis pretty well, but um, let's get the egg out. Oof. Not a good old session, that one. Okay. We're ready to go. First egg. Oh yeah! Look at that! Yoki! Shut up Elvis! God's sake! Well I had to bash that quite hard. Medium sort of one. <gasps> okay! Yes, you got a little bit of yolk in the bottom there. Teeny bit. Ha! Huh? So that means this one, which is still a little bit hot, is a perfect... Ah, it's a hard boiled egg if I've ever seen one. Excellent! Now the kitchen has now got an amazing smell of egg. Mmm. <laughs> okay, break that open like that. <coughs> I hate the taste of the egg, I don't know why I did that, but I just want to prove that it worked. So there we are then folks, I'm here with my pug, Yin Yang sign right there. Loved this gadget, and of course they do other artists as well. Elvis was the most well-known one as far as I know. I can't believe you didn't do blue suede shoes though. That is it now folks, please uh, check out the rest of the gadget videos. Don't forget we do two uh, recipe videos a week as well. Send in any requests you've got for those. Uh, check out social media for behind the scenes bits and bobs and our other spin-off channel which we mentioned earlier in the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Excellent. <laughs>